Hello everyone, this is Psychic Underlord. Coming on with another video here talking about uh, spiritual matters, spiritual things for those who are into the ascended lifestyle, into the lifestyle of righteousness, things that are fruits of the spirit, uh, things that are lovely, things that are just, is what we will be discussing today. So glad you're here, and it reminds me of so many times in the past when we've had time to share with one another through our videos here through our YouTube page, which is uh, psychicunderlord.net. We appreciate you so much also for subscribing, liking, sharing. As a part of our ritual community, you are the lifeblood for what Psychic Underlord is all about not only providing rituals and providing ritual applications, but providing the education for those who are intrigued by the lifestyle of a spiritual path in life. <coughs> so we are so grateful for you. And uh, today's video um, is concentrated on it, uh, something that we are very keen on uh, on our website, which is the alter egos. Alter egos are alternative personalities that uh, according to studies, they've been around for thousands of years through ritual procedure, ritual application. And uh, this is the first time since then that alter egos have been applied on the side of the ascension moving forward into the future instead of on the backward ebb going backwards into the dark. The Bible foretold that his people would inherit the earth. Alter egos allow a structural support system within the spirit realm and in the body to allow the person to leverage certain characteristics that they're conscious of um, or even unconscious of in some cases depending on how the ritual is applied to be able to capitalize on certain characteristics and utilize them it could be something as simple as an accent something as simple as a way of speaking, a way of communicating, a way of presenting oneself that may be different from what you were accustomed to previously. It could be very slight. It could be very pronounced. And with our rituals, we also do ask people to specify if you want an increase or reduction of the power of the ritual alter ego so that it meets your exact specifications. For example, if the alter ego causes you to speak too quickly and you find that in speaking so quickly, you're not able to readily work your relationships and work those conversations and you want to simply reduce the speed of your speech or if uh, your present, present physical presentation uh, is so that it is too alluring and too attractive you may want to moderate it to be able to meet Ah, that is me. And it's you effortlessly. It's you without the thought process required to become this new individual. I could take uh, the alter ego and make it so that it lies flush in a way that it's much more palatable to your specific tastes and your desires. It doesn't have to be that every 
ego with that description has to see it all is about how it works for you. When it works for you, that's the only way that the ritual is, is working its best. Uh, the ego that I chose for this video to communicate is still psychic underwood. However, I did add certain essences, certain qualities in my communication style that are perfectly natural for me, but they're a little bit off set from characteristic. It may be something that you want to use for work or for the working world. Maybe you work in an occupation where it, it's more centered around relationships and communication with people or children or senior citizens or individuals who are working in the legal system. Any of these needs can be found in the properly laid alter ego that you specify from psychicunderlord.com. By searching, not only is your speech affected, but also your physical mannerisms, the way that you use your face, the way that you use your hands and your body, all of these things are part of the alter ego experience. And ultimately, it boils down to your success in multiple areas, not only personal, but also professional, interpersonal. You're building a new history, a new profile. It's a facelift for your spiritual life. And it also does not counter uh, counter uh, indicate in any way with other rituals that you have placed. It only makes you more characteristic in a manner that is appropriate for you and appropriate for your type of life that you live. It doesn't have to be like anyone else. So it is an automatic process. I think it's one of the best ways to come into ritual because you can simply see, feel, hear, understand, and enjoy the ritual for yourself before you even present yourself to the world. You're enjoying the ritual experience because you see that the change in you is meaningful, it's substantive, it's appropriate, it's attractive. It is just right for you. If you select an alter ego, it may enhance certain characteristics such as ability to sell items, influencing people, becoming the leader that you like to be. You say, I'm a good leader. I want to have the authority and power, but I need people to agree with me and to follow my example and to be willing. I'm working on this characteristic in myself. So now then when I begin to walk in this new alter ego, I'm becoming that leader and believing that I'm that leader, not only for the sake of leading, but because I'm the most suited for this job. This is an opportunity that I'm best suited for. And you come into that belief over and over again every day, perhaps even in your marriage or your relationship. You say, I'd like to feel what it would be like to be the person that I want to be and not be afraid that it would infect all the other parts of my life in a negative manner. We can do that. And it doesn't have to be soft. It can be as aggressive as you would like to be. 
it may be appropriate for you. Maybe you're a teacher, a police officer, a pastor, a politician, a community leader, a daycare provider, a truck driver. Alter egos selected properly by you can make a world of difference in the type of experience that you receive on a daily basis. The concept of the alter ego also flows into the math rituals where the mind is more calculatory. It's more able to organize numbers and figures without any type of in, um, internal resistance. And the mind is curious because the mind will stop you if it wants to know certain things. And sometimes it doesn't need to know, it just needs to do. So the concept of the math rituals to organize and put things in place financially, interpersonally, organizing your time. These are things that the, you're losing and you don't even realize that you're losing because the mind is so busy trying to be a governor over what is happening. This is a mathematical reality. And it's so many numbers that are involved in addition to the destiny control matrix, the chakra system, the energy that's coming through your genes and through your DNA, as well as the brand new rituals that are coming upon you, the words that people say to you, the things people do to you, affect you continuously. So the mind in serving the body and being silenced and trusting and believing is essential in that realm. Also the organized thoughts ritual. You say, I'm, I'm perfectly happy. The one aspect I would like to adjust is that my, my thoughts become more organized and systematic so that I can take advantage of the opportunities before me and not worry about the obstacles that they could become or things from, that are irrelevant. That's also an alter ego. Creating a new mental a philosophy of how your body is going to operate in reality, how you will communicate, how you'll be able to adjust things, whether it's conscious or subconscious, it's going to happen through the ritual process. The alter egos also can produce behaviors such as using your physical body in a proper manner. A lot of times people are injured in physical activities because they do not use their body properly. And the ego of their mind takes over their physical behaviors and they end up getting injured because they are thinking too quickly about how things will look instead of how things should feel. And sometimes things should feel a certain way spiritually and it will look wrong to others. And that is where we run into trouble when our judgment becomes clouded by how things look versus how things feel to us. How we discern should be oriented around how we feel internally and allow that to lead. And after some time of living like that, you'll discover that you've created a comfortable life that is suitable for your taste and is not distasteful whatsoever and does not require actionable items every five minutes because you've developed it specifically for your greater comfort. So that is also an alter ego, uh, using the body, using the mind, and the persona and personality, just as 
I applied specifically for an alter ego for my voice for this video. There is a personality connected to it. And there may be, with what I did, it may be some kind of slight aspect of my physical body and as well as my mental capabilities. But it's all happening in conjunction and happening so quickly in real time that I don't have the ability to monitor or mask or put things to the side because I'm perfectly aware of the alter ego that I'm wearing right now and how suitable that it is for this video. So thank you very much for all of your views. This has been a wonderful video. I look forward to doing more. I may be able to put this alter ego to the side and use it at another time, or I may continue to use it for other additional videos, but I thank you so much. I feel so good in doing this video for you now that I just would like to share with you. Please visit PsychicUnderlord.com for all of your esoteric and spiritual needs. We have many items there available, and we thank you for all of the wonderful feedback as well as the reviews on our Etsy website. Thank you very much.